file planner can be used also to um, collect RSVPs. So if you'd like to use that function of aisle planner, you'll want to make sure that your guest email is logged. So I'll click into mine and you'll see kind of my junk email in there down on this field. You can also change the view back to guest parties and scroll on over to see the email associated with that couple. You don't need both of their emails, you just need one of them. If you click on messages, you're going to be able to request online RSVPs as well as share information. So let's say there is maybe a shuttling process or a valet process that all your guests will need to be aware of. You can send this out as a mass email all through your portal. We're going to send our first message, which is going to be for online RSVPs. We're going to put a reply by date of, let's just do this Saturday. Um, if you want to allow replies after this date, click the box. If you do not want people to be able to respond after the date, do not click the box. The event recipients to message, um, we're going to go ahead and mark ceremony and reception. If you're having a rehearsal dinner, you can mark that in as well if you're inviting them. Filters we're going to do to all guests initially. You can see your recipient list of who is being invited. But we're going to go ahead and put wedding RSVPs. Grammatically, I don't know if it needs the apostrophe, so double check on that. We're going to say, hello, family and friends. Please use this link to RSVP to our wedding. XO, Amelia, and Mark. So we're going to go ahead and send this message. We can send a follow up message if we'd like. We have to select more information, but we can do it to only guests who have not responded, only out of town guests, or the guests who have confirmed yes and have RSVP'd yes. You can have a message sent to all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and click done. I'm going to actually pull my other screen up with the RSVP. So this is where your this is what your guests will get. So you'll find it in their email address. It typically does not go to spam, so it is pretty safe to send out. But they will get a message that looks like this. Hello, family and friends. Please use this link to RSVP to our wedding. And they'll go ahead and click on the RSVP button. Once they click that, you will be able to have them type in any food allergies that they may have, RSVP, and also select their meal. This is wonderful. I think I've already actually gone in here um, and selected the meals for us previously. This is wonderful because it makes it super easy to track everybody's RSVP as attending for ceremony and attending for reception. I'm going to go ahead and click RSVP. Thank you for the RSVP. Go back. And I'm going to go ahead and move this on over. Refresh my IO planner so we can see it in real time. Click on ceremony and reception. And you'll see that we have RSVP'd yes. I'm going to change the view over here to the individual guest. And you'll see that steak and salmon have populated for us as well as RSVPing for both. So if you are looking to accomplish your RSVPs all digitally, this is a wonderful, wonderful route to go. You will have to have everybody's email address or every couple's email address in order to execute this, but it can help simplify the RSVP process.